Good morning to you folks. Doug here with Sewell Motor Coach. Today I'm so excited to actually get in front of you one of the new style Tiffin Phaetons. Of course, this body style, this front cap is not brand new. Uh, that came out in 2020 was the first year of that body style. But in 2022, Tiffin made some really big moves in the Tiffin Phaeton line, um, adding some options that they didn't previously add in other years. So huge, huge plus on this coach. This thing is, I've got the build sheet here. This thing is so well optioned. $439,000 coach. If you want to save some money, you don't want to buy new because this coach in 2023 has gone up another probably $30,000, $40,000. So really can save you quite a bit of money here and get the latest and greatest in Tiffin uh, technology. As you're looking here, this really is more option like an Allegro bus uh, than a Tiffin Phaeton of past years. So I want to show, we'll take you through this coach and show you all about it. But we do have double Girard awnings. We do have Girard door awning we have gerard window awnings and gerard slide toppers uh, uh, slide toppers slide stoppers <laughs> slide toppers in this coach also we get to the back here we have an emergency egress door that i've never seen before in a tiffin um, let me go back here and show that to you so we have a rear door here. Sorry about the shaky camera work. Uh, you, this is the headboard of the bed. So if you need to get out of the coach, you just pop the couple little pieces on the headboard and I'll show you what we, how that works. Well, I'll show you where it's at when we get inside. Uh, but basically one little latch inside, this folds down, got a little ladder attached to it. You can uh, jump out there. I love this coach for its options. Um, it was not optioned with Aqua Hot, and I'm gonna tell you, I really like that uh, because in a Phaeton, I think simplicity is probably still an important thing when it comes to a Tiffin Phaeton. Uh, people want simplicity. Sometimes people do get aggravated with Aqua Hot. It can't, it's a great option, but it can be very aggravating. The thing I love that this coach has is the Truma Aqua Go. Uh, there is propane, there's a propane tank down here. The only things that run off propane are gonna be uh, your Truma Aqua Go and your two furnaces. So that's the only thing, huge propane tank, uh, give you uh, tankless hot water on demand and uh, the propane also runs the furnaces. But you also have heat pumps on, on the roof as well. I do believe, we're gonna check the system when we go inside, I do believe this has three, uh, it has three air conditioners, but I believe all three are also heat pumps. But enough of the outside, let's go inside and check out this brand new 2022 Tiffin 40 QKH. I like the new entry doors here. Uh, the new keypad on the entry door lets you operate a lot of the options on the front of the coach. And they really, went all out on computer computer technology in this coach so everywhere you look you've got these little computer screens as you enter the door you can uh, operate your your door awning and a lot of your lighting and stuff also the passenger has sorry about the shaky camera work again also the passenger has one right here that they can tr control a lot of the systems from there there's your remote for your double gerard awnings yes this coach was optioned with floor heat so it's got two zones of floor heating forward and rever and rear if you're looking at this and you're looking for a 40 qkh odds are you know what you're looking at so i'm not going to dig into why the floor plan is great uh, because you know why it's great. If you're looking at it, this is a really cool floor plan. Sleeps a ton of people. So I'm gonna talk about that. We are on the brand new Freightliner chassis. Uh, this chassis came out in 2020. Upgraded all of the steering wheel controls. Everything is pretty much attached to your steering wheel now. So everything that control the coach, uh, you have uh, cruise control on this side. You can uh, operate your phone, all the, all the the items on the digital dash. If you check the pictures, you can see the digital dash, dash and all that stuff. We do have a navigation head unit and a huge um, backup camera and side view cameras as well right here. So latest and greatest there. We got an LG TV up front that was optioned in. And then we do have the bed over. So this sleeps one person. But I'm gonna turn around and give you the money shot because I really love the options in this coach. I love the a wood plank tile floor, not the glossy floors. I really like this. It's got that kind of matte uh, wood, wood style finish. This coach does sleep on an amazing 11 people. I can't believe it. Now, are you going to uh, sleep 11 people comfortable? No, probably not, but you can definitely sleep 
six or eight adults very comfortable you got a king size bed in the back two bunks this makes a bed that makes a bed that makes a bed and then behind me we have that um drop down bunk that sleeps one person and that looks like it's pretty darn comfortable itself so coming on into the coach here we have a televator right here with a huge window in behind there and i believe that's like a 60 54 60 inch television on a televator really really large uh, you do have power port next to it if you wanted to plug in an auxiliary device windows in the slide another huge window here i have all the windows closed um, to make to make the video come out better we don't want all that bright light we have another control screen right here be able to operate a lot of the systems in the coach from that lighting all of your lighting in this coach is dimmable i really really like that a lot this makes a jackknife bed with another window behind there and valence lighting and i believe this these uh cabinets are called shadow cabinets that is a fifteen hundred dollar uh, upgrade we do have a, a, a removable island tiffin's uh window seems like that window is getting bigger and bigger every year i really like the size of that window and i love what they did here with the corian countertops and the glass tile black splash and i like the fact that they can incorporate some usb ports and some plugs right into the countertop in fact i like that so much i'm building a house right now we're gonna incorporate that into our countertops at our house also, you think, well, it's option with a dishwasher. No, actually, this coach was not option with a dishwasher. And for me, and if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm, I'm not a huge fan of dishwashers. I just think they take up too much space. And in this coach, this storage here is huge. This is very, very important storage. More than you can think, more than you know, this storage is extremely important. And folks, I do want to tell you, I did lie to you just a little bit because the other thing that runs on propane here, I forgot all about it. We do have a propane cooktop. So cooktop, two furnaces, and the Truma AquaGo water heater are the items that run off propane in this coach. But, uh, you know, honestly, if you're camping where you have to use propane heat and you can't use your uh, heat pumps, then you need to rethink camping. <laughs> That's a joke, folks. That's a joke. For those of you that are up north and, and can't get away from it, I love propane heat. I think it's the best source of heating, the most warm heating, also the heated floor. So really, you have three options of heating. And we'll go over here to the screen and talk about this so I don't get to rambling too much. But here's your uh, zones of, feet, of floor heating. All right. So front zone, rear zone. Uh, I think those are going to have... 10 levels uh, of heating. So yeah, huge. I, I think 10 levels. I'll have to check into that See, But anyway, you got front and rear floor heating. Um, let's check the air conditioners here. Okay, so yeah, heat pump, heat pump, heat pump. All three air conditioners are also heat pumps. That's huge. Okay, now here's where you change your... Yeah, okay, yeah, you have 10... No, five levels, one through five on your floor heat. But what I'm trying to get to is you really have three sources of heat in this coach. You got heat pumps, three of those. You got two zones of floor heating. This is electric tile floor heating. So once you get that ceramic tile up to temperature, that actually becomes a source of radiant heat in your coach. So if you're camping in 40, 50 degree weather, really and truthfully, you can probably heat the entire coach just off the floors when you're plugged into electric or you're running your generator. Okay, so and then also you have the propane heat, as I call it for emergency backup, but all kinds of options here. Again, these little computer screens are located throughout the coach. I really think that's huge. Um, tons of storage in this coach. This is the 40 QKH, so it is a bunk model, but storage is key, right? So, I mean, that's what you want. You got it's like a 41. I'll get the exact uh, dimensions for you. It's 41 something. A 41.3 or something like that, feet long, um, 380 Cummins horsepower, 3,000 3, Allison transmission, 10,000 pound towing. Uh, here's That makes a bet as well. I probably already mentioned that. We do have a LG side-by-side -side, or French door refrigerator with water and ice in the door. Water and ice in the door. That's huge. I really like that. This fridge is really clean. And then right next to it, we have a nice pantry right here. So check that out. All right, coming on into the back, uh, there's tons of room in. I love this floor plan. Uh, you got plenty of room to move about here. Sleeps everybody in your family just about. So if you want to take a lot of people camping, but enough of that, let's go back here to the back and check it out. All right, coming on back here, we have our bunk area. So 
I like how they're you're, they're able to separate this area. You have a little hallway here where somebody in the bunk can get to the bathroom if they need to. All right, let's talk about the bathroom. A porcelain toilet with a, a foot pedal flush. This is a drop-in, so this, this basically drops straight into the black tank. There is a macerator system on the outside that was added. Um, I believe they called that, uh, I can't remember exactly, they, they called it something else, like waste sanitation or something like that. Look on the build sheet. I'll have the build sheet on the website. We do have a one-piece molded fiberglass surround shower, and inside there, uh, we are going to detail this coach. I do apologize. Uh, with this coach just came in, I wanted to get a quick video of it. We do have the water miser feature right here. All right, so that allows you to conserve that fresh water. You just flip that valve right there uh, while you're waiting on that hot water to come, and it recirculates the water back into the fresh water tank. Uh, so you're not filling up your gray tank and you're not exhausting that fresh water capacity. Uh, coming on into the bathroom here, again, we have a porcelain toilet, plenty of mirrors and cabinetry, a nice little window, drawers. This is huge right here. I know that you may not think, let's just a set of three drawers. These things are huge. There's plenty, plenty of storage, especially if you're going to pack a bunch of people in here with you. You need storage. It's very, very important. The most underestimated item that you need in a coach is storage. It's huge. It's important, okay? Uh, more storage next to the shower here. So instead of electing to go with a massive shower in this coach, they realize that this storage right here is much more important towels and, and all kinds of different stuff that you can store right in there. Also, these bunks become flexible. So right now I have it set up for a one person setup where you can also have some hanging storage above um, and, and one person can easily and comfortably sleep in here. But this bed, this bed actually drops down. So check the pictures on the website at SewellMotorCoach.com S-E-W-E-L-L, motorcoach.com. So you can see this bunk down and all the different variations. There's power, there's USB ports, there's lighting, all that stuff in both sides of the bunk. So this isn't a converted over uh, bunk. This actually is a very nice setup in here. And these bunks are huge, plenty. Even a big boy like me could get in there and sleep no problem. All right, now, for those of you watching this video who are probably the buyers of a coach like this, all right, you are the paying customer, so let's see what the uh, see what the 40QKH has left for you. Uh, through another door, you have your private master suite right here. Yes, you have a king size bed and all the amenities you want. I love how the floors flow all the way back into the bedroom. I love the under cabinet lighting in here. Again, all this is dimmable. Plenty of storage in this room too. Tiffin's so famous for their laundry hampers and you have two very large drawers and two uh, half size drawers here as well as some cabinetry above, a nice flat screen television right there. Of course you have a window. And in behind this bed, these two little headboard pieces flip down and that's how you open that emergency egress door. All right, next to the bed is a very nice size closet. Some of your electrical stuff back here, plenty of hanging. You have a safe, more lighting for the closet in here. All that automatically pops on whenever you open the door. Next to that is our stacked washer and dryer. Yes, this was optioned with a stacked washer and dryer. And I still love the fact, and I'll mention it again, I don't know how many screens this is in the coach, but next to the bed, you have the op option to operate all of your systems, even turn on and off your generator, master light controls on either side of the bed. So you can roll over and you don't have to worry about jumping out of bed to run upstairs and uh, run, run to the front and uh, shut lights off or do whatever you need to do. So there it is, folks. This is a 2022 Tiffin Phaeton. 40 QKH, 12,000 or so miles. I love the fact that it's it's slightly used. Um, it's it really an amazing coach in amazing condition. Save you a bunch of money off of a new one. There's only a few of these even. If, I think there's only four, three or four of these available in the country. The other three are new. Obviously, you're going to spend a lot more money on a new one. So save yourself some money. Also, save yourself some headache on this coach. You can buy this coach. A lot of all of you know this coach should have had all of the bugs worked out of it. So the whoever owned it before you probably has been back to Tiffin once or twice, 
and uh, was able to get some of those warranty items already done. So a lot of that's already been, a lot of that headache has already been taken from you. They've taken some of the depreciation for you and really making this coach uh, a, a buy, in my opinion. So if you're looking for the latest and greatest, please check out the website for more pictures and information. Uh, and uh, we'd love to get a deal going for you here at Sewell Motor Coach, S-E-W-E-L-L motorcoach.com. But if you're watching this video and you say, you know what, I really like this coach. I think this is the one for me. Uh, you can call my cell phone directly, area code 859-613-2574. That's 859-613-2574. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day, and I appreciate you sticking in there with me and watching the whole thing, and take care now. See ya.